Embedding and linking your files is a great way to improve your workflow across Affinity software. Today we'll look at how these tools work and we'll see how you can manage your resources more easily. So let's jump in. What's up guys, it's Trent, and today we're gonna to talk about embedding and linking files across Affinity programs. This feature works in Affinity Publisher, Designer, and Photo, but I'll mostly be looking at it from the Designer and Photo perspectives today. So what do we mean by embedding and linking files? Well, these are two different ways of putting a file or resource into your project. You've almost certainly done one of them already if you've ever put an image into your document. So let's look at an example I have here. I designed this simple little menu and there's not much on it yet, but I also have another file that has a logo on it. So these files are both Affinity Designer files. And what I can do is I can place my logo into my menu here. So I'll go to File, Place. I'll select my logo Affinity Designer program. I'll hit open and I'll just place it. And of course it's pretty big, so I'll resize it and I'll put it in a good place. Now what you'll notice is that when this object is selected, you can see over in the top left here, it says embedded document for me. What happens is if I double click this object, I can start editing it. Now I'm not editing the original file. This is a different version that's just embedded into my document here. We'll look at how to edit the original one later. So what I can do is I can select my logo here. I can change the color and it'll be updated here. So you can see it changed here on my menu, but my original document did not change. And this is because currently it is listed as embedded. Okay, so, so far not really a big deal, but let's look at the case where we link something in. So let me delete this. Now I'll place it in again. This will be the original version, so it won't have the color change. And I'll place it here. So it's still listed as an embedded document. I didn't do anything differently than the first time, but we can change that now to a linked document. So I'll go to Window Resource Manager. And this tool is very handy. It shows all the resources that are in your file. So currently I only have one, this logo.af design file. If I expand these columns, we can get more information. And we can see is that the placement of this object is embedded. And with it selected here, I can click make linked. And now it says linked. So let me close this. So now what will happen is if I double click on this object, it will go to my original file. So let me double click here. And I can see it went to the logo file. So I'll change this. Maybe I'll change the name. I'll change the color. And if I save it, you can see there's this message here. This message is coming from my other file over here. It's saying that my original file changed. So I'll just close that. And you can see it got automatically updated. So just in case that wasn't clear, let me close this logo file. Now let me open the logo file again. I'll open the logo here. And it opened up. So let's pretend I'm just editing my logo file. Well, I can change this. And if I save, if I go back to my menu, you can see it automatically changed. So this means I only have to worry about one source of information for this logo here. Now I'm not just limited to putting in Affinity Designer documents, I can also put in Affinity Photo documents. So here I have this photo of some coffee beans, and you can see I am in Affinity Photo now. Let me go back to Affinity Designer. I'll do File, Place, and I'll place this BG image, that's the file I was looking at. And again, it's pretty big. Let me resize it and I'll put it in the background. Now, by the way, when you add in files over here on your layers menu, you'll see their file name. And if I select my BG image, you can see that it is still an embedded document. So changes I make in Affinity Photo won't affect this document yet. What I can do is I can actually go to the resource manager again. And let me make this so you can see it. You can see that image came in as embedded. Well, I can make it linked. So let me go back to Affinity Photo and let me make some type of change. I have some adjustments here. Let me turn on a black and white adjustment. Let me turn on some curves. I'll save it. So this is before, after. Let's see how it looks in Affinity Designer. Now, when I went back to Affinity Designer, I didn't see a change. Let me go to Window Resource Manager. Now you can see here there's this status. It says Modified. So what I can do is I can select this and I can click Update. And now it does update. So you can see I have the black and white coffee beans now. Now you can make it so resources automatically update. You can do that through Edit, Settings, and then under general, you have this option here, automatically update linked resources. So I'll leave it unchecked for now, but if you do check it, it will automatically update the files. And you may also have a preference for whether you want documents to be linked or embedded by default. So actually when you create a new document, there is this option here that will say what the default behavior will be. So you can have prefer embedded or preferred linked. If you change your mind in the middle of a document, you can always go to document setup. And then here you can change it as well. So when you do this, this will change what the default behavior is. 
Now, as I said before, a really cool aspect of this is that you can reuse the same resource in multiple places and not have to update it all over the place. You can just change your original file. So let me specifically create an artboard for this menu. And maybe I have another artboard where I want this to be the logo. So here I'll place the logo. And I'll add some things that you see on a business card. So we have a simple design here. And what I can do is I can make this a linked document. So by default, it was still embedded because that's what I had the settings set to. So resource manager. It's this bottom one, so I'll say make linked. And you can see they both get joined here because they're pointing to the same thing. So both of these are bundled under this one listing. I'll close this. So now my logo, if I change my color scheme, I'll say something like this. I'll make the text white. I'll save it. I'll go back here. And you can see everything updated in one place. The logo over here and the logo over here. And I only had to make one change here. So that's one of the major benefits of this method. So once again, all this stuff works in Affinity Photo and Affinity Publisher too. I'm in Affinity Photo right now. I just created a new document. I'll say place. I can do the logo. And it's there. I can double click on it. It'll open here. And there's also the resource manager, window resource manager. So I can see all the properties of my resources there. And it also works in Affinity Publisher. I'll place the logo there. By the way, if you click and drag when you place, it helps change the size. I forgot to do that before, but it's a little bit of a shortcut there. And you also have the resource manager under window resource manager. So there it is for Affinity Publisher. Now, whether you choose embedded or linked will kind of depend on your situation. There's pros and cons to both of them. Embedded can be nice because it guarantees that everything is included in one file. So you don't have to worry about things getting disorganized. However, the downside is it can make your file a lot bigger. And also you can't really work independently on assets. Now, when you link documents, it'll save space and perhaps give you some more flexibility to work on things simultaneously. But the downside is that when you're transferring files around, it's easy for the links to get broken if you're not careful. If you do break links, the resource manager actually has pretty good support for fixing them. So if something is broken here, you can click the replace option. You can choose a new file to link it with. Now, there are some other interesting options down here. Show and Explorer will show you where these files are in your file system. So I kind of like that option. It's a quick way to open a file explorer if you don't have it open already. And collect will actually export all your resources to a folder of your choice. So if I say collect, I'll say collection and collect. Now in my folder collection, it will actually put the file I selected. And you can put all of them. I just had the background image selected. So I only put that one, but you can select all these files and collect them in the folder here. And now in this collection folder, you can see my files are there. If you have any questions about embedding and linking files in the Affinity suite of programs, feel free to leave a comment below. As always, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.